Hi, and thank you for joining me for another edition of the Bell Performance Video Blog. I am Eric Bjornstad, and today we're going to talk about uh, how to convert a regular car or truck to a flex fuel vehicle. Flex fuel being uh, the kind of vehicle that can run on uh, much higher concentrations of ethanol than just 10 or 15%. Uh, most commonly, they're called E85 vehicles because they can run up to 85% ethanol. And those are the kind of vehicles that are a lot more common in a place like Brazil than they are here. Uh, people ask why uh, the cars and trucks in Brazil can run on high levels of ethanol, and the answer simply is because uh, virtually all of the cars or trucks sold in Brazil are flex fuel vehicles. Now. Uh, what's the big difference between a flex fuel vehicle and a regular vehicle? Um, there's two main differences uh, in two key areas. First is difference in what the fuel systems are made out of. And the second one is a difference in how the fuel is injected. So let's take the, uh, the fuel system. Um, the uh, uh, fuel system materials used in E85 compatible cars and trucks are uh, more ethanol resistant materials than ones that are typically found in regular cars and trucks. Now that's not to say that a 2010 Honda Accord is likely to find its uh, fuel system eaten away by ethanol. Uh, you really have to be more concerned with cars or trucks built before 2001, which is why there is uh, such a controversy uh, or an ambiguity in the EPA's uh, ruling on the cars or trucks that could uh, legally be fueled with E15. Um, so the flex fuel vehicles uh, running 85% ethanol, uh, they have a much higher chance of suffering ethanol damage if those fuel system components are not more ethanol resistant, and so they tend to make them out of those. Uh, but th the biggest distinction it has to do with uh, changing of the fuel injection. Now, um, ethanol has 25% less energy than regular gasoline does. And so the fuel has to be metered in at a different ratio in order to get the correct amount of energy, so to speak, involved in the combustion process. So basically, uh, they change uh, what's called the injector pulse, which has to do with the amount of fuel that is uh, injected into the combustion chamber. Um, if they did not do this, then what, you, what they would end up with is they would end up with a lean mixture. Lean mi and a lean mixture means too much air and not enough fuel in the fuel blend ratio. Now, when you get a lean mixture, uh, having too much air means that mixture actually burns hotter than a correct mixture. Now, that that's sounds a little illogical, but that is actually the way it happens. Uh, if you have less fuel involved in the fuel-air mixture, you actually get a higher temperature. And if that engine runs for too long on too hot of a temperature, you're going to get critical damage over time. So um, let's say you wanted to convert your regular car or truck to an E85 vehicle. What would you have to do? Well, there's two things, two, two key components that you would need. The first thing is called an electronic control module. Um, this plugs in near the fuel injector, or the, the fuel injector, excuse me, and um, these base, th this uh, helps to control the, the injection of the, uh, uh, the higher concentration of ethanol. The second one is a fuel sensor. Now the fuel sensor uh, what that's going to do is that's going to detect the ethanol gasoline ratio and this is really important because when you're talking about issues of timing and injector pulse uh, you really need something that's going to give you the correct synopsis of what's actually happening in the vehicle otherwise you're a lot more likely to get uh, uh, incorrect timing uh, and uh, not your, your, your engine's not really going to run right if you don't have something that's telling it accurately how much ethanol is actually ending up in the fuel-air mixture. So, um, next time you think about the difference between cars and trucks from the United States to Brazil, those are the, the big differences. The cars and trucks in Brazil, much more likely to be flex fuel vehicles. 
So thanks very much for joining me today. If you'd like more information on this topic or other topics having to do with ethanol, um, then go to the Bell Performance website at bellperformance.com, uh, or you can try our great educational website at wefixfuel.com. Thanks very much for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.